Welcome back. Farmers grow more than 2,500 varieties of apples in the U.S. In fact, North Carolina is seventh in the nation in the production of apples. That's right. Of course, we just celebrated that fact. It's some of the best to come from Henderson County with the North Carolina Apple Festival. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is here with a way to showcase even more of all that apple goodness. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. In fact, in doing that, we have to tap into our great friend, Joe Ray Johnson. She's a contributing writer to Chicken Soup for the Soul Kids in the Kitchen, and she's here today to share some great recipes for kids of all ages and some other great ideas for using apples. It's so good to see you again. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited we're topping apples because, um, well, to start things off, you're going to share one of my absolute favorite things for apples, and that's apple butter. You make it yourself? I sure did, and this is the easiest recipe in the world. It's now done in the crock pot. Really? Because when I've seen it made, I mean, I've seen people just stirring and stirring, and then they hand it off to someone else to stir. So this is a faster, less labor-intensive one? Yes, you start it at night. Just chop up your apples, pour them in the uh, crock pot, let them cook all night. Then you can add your cinnamon and your spices. Apple cider, believe it or not, to, oh, really? and you let it simmer. And you can cook it, believe it or not, for a day or two in the crock pot and mm -hmm. just stir it periodically. But you don't have to stay Stand over. over it. That's awesome. And it turns out beautifully. This is a, a sample you have right here. Oh, it's so rich and delicious looking. Well, and I actually made peanut butter and apple butter sandwiches. Oh, you really? have to I'm going to have a taste one. of that. Well, you tell me about some of these gizmos and gadgets we have here because these also are things that help speed up use of these wonderful apples, right? They sure are. Mm. An apple core is absolutely essential. you got to have that. And it just makes it so much easier to get the apple core out. That is a heaven sent idea. Whoever came up with that, God <laughs> bless you. Okay, so we've got them to this point. You have something else that, because I get so tired of slicing apples for pies and stuff. But this is a little trick you found. Yes, a mandolin and a bargain slicer. Too. Oh, yeah, it was on sale at sure. Walmart. Uh, you just, a uh, mandolin slicer, all you have to do is just take the apple and you put the. Uh, Use the guard so you don't want to take a finger, it, or a finger off with this, right? Right, and you just slice it across there. It'll slice very thin slices. It has other. Uh, uh, different knives that are like we could make shoestring potatoes, we right. can julienne things. Right. So this is really versatile for more than just apples. Mm -hmm. But let's focus more on the apples. What are these lovely, lovely tasty things here? Those are apple brownies. Let me and look, made with love because look, it's all heart shaped. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. So okay, what what does it take to make a beautiful apple brownie like this? Believe it or not, it's just shredded apples and then a, a very simple cake recipe. You know, flour that kind of thing. It mm -hmm. happens to be in the Chicken Soup for the Soul book. Oh, good. So we can get it there. And of course, we're going to also have access to these um, recipes for you as well. What's in the salad bowl? Everybody's well, probably had Waldorf salad. I mm -hmm. love Waldorf salad. But the new thing, instead of mayonnaise, mm -hmm. is to use Greek yogurt. Wonderful. And vanilla Greek yogurt is wonderful, but it's um, walnuts, grapes, apples, and celery. Okay, and we didn't get to all the wonderful ways you can use it to help your house stay nice and clean, too, so we're just going to have to tell you to learn more about what Joe Ray's up to. In fact, she's going to launch her own website later this week, so watch out for JoeRayJohnson.com. Check it out and see what's going on there. Coming up on My 40 This Morning, Joe Ray's going to help us also keep the colors alive in our gardens from fall well into spring. Jay, Leanne? All right.